Greetings everyone and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the House of Valis. I am Sel Valis, Patriarch. Alright, so last episode we secured Ulster. We can't take out Kildare because he has got some very powerful relations. So I have to wait for him to die off. Then hopefully those will be out of the way. In the meantime though, we can begin looking for more interesting conquests. So it does seem that Scotland is, for the most part, um, consolidated. However, I have noticed Dythid is vulnerable. All he has are non-aggression packs, and his realm army is only 750. Now this would be our first access to some actual feudalized non-tribal, um, land, which does remind me I'm going to actually attempt to centralize a little bit. Realm laws, we need to organize. And it's just kind of how it's got to be. So, people aren't going to like it too much, but it's all part of getting to feudalism. Boom. At least I don't have to have them vote on it. Wait, well, what? Oh, I need an advisor, huh? Well, uh, you're a powerful vassal, so welcome to the council! Council is content. All right, so we've taken our first little step towards our goal. Now, before we go to war, I've decided I want to do some raiding. Last time we had some religious vast, er, armies pop up, but it turns out that they don't work in regular wars. They need to be a holy war, so ultimately, that was a waste. So I'm going to instead raise these ships and gather all my men. For some nice, good, old-fashioned raiding. Now, the way raiding has worked, I was doing it wrong at the very beginning. You need to have the ship factor. So, I've got this big army, and they're raiders. Oh, right. So, ship first, get to the Bantry Bay, and then get this army on the ship, and they will be able to haul 150 gold ducats. So, basically, I think we're just staying positive. So we need to find weak countries like the petty kingdom of Cromwell. And we need to go raid them. So I will take this raiding army and drop. And then we just watch that little raiding icon. So yeah, it's gone red there. Move over. Raid till it goes red. Now, he's raised his armies, but because um, I brought so many men, he won't actually be able to attack us. And we just made off with a cool 20 gold. Alright, so the next target will probably be Kent. Yeah, they are part of the petty kingdom of Kent, and therefore have no real protectors. It does appear that they are in a war, though. Yes, they are hostile toward... No, they are hostile towards a second raider. Yeah, they're being raided there, which kind of sucks, because that's the better loot. But hey, at least I'll get 20 out of it. Excellent, another daughter has been born. Um, who will the next one be? I did just India... Aelin. Oh, twins! Hello. Kettlemond, uh, no, no, no. I have to do so. I have Kettlemond. I guess Naslin is next. Naslin. Demon Hunter, my newest character. How did those two turn out? He is a twin and just a child of a concubine. Ooh, she is sickly. We may lose our daughter. Tragedy if we do. All right, you're gonna be humble, and you, my son going to be a money person. You're not quite just set to take over yet, after all. Ooh, dear. That's unfortunate. They raised their forces right as we entered the land. So... We actually got kicked back to the boats. Well, that's embarrassing. So that was definitely a bad fight. But well, let's head up to here and check out Norfolk and Suffolk. This place was really good last time. Yeah. So you've already been raided, but you still have a ripe 30 gold, so I'm going to send the army here and hope for the best. 
Oh, I have a message. Someone wants to ransom my brother. Oh, awkward. Yes, I will ransom him for 10 gold. Oh, that was bad. All right, so we've landed, not being horribly murdered. Oh, you decided to join your personal card. Excellent, more of that. So yeah, I'm gaining up this loot real quick, filling the boat. And yeah, he's raised his troops, so we will go ahead and just go back. And then, wait, is he going to drop him? Is he not going to drop him? Why am I hostile to you? Hostile towards him. I'm not part of the war. I guess that's just still troops. All right, well, whatever. This part of Scotland up here it is, so... Probably our next target again will be the uh, Umarids we hit before. How good's over here? Ooh, def... Oh, oh, very, very freshly plundered. <sighs> did we get Cromwell? We did. Um, in here looks kind of fresh. Ooh, that's a good spot. Because, yeah, we are definitely... Like, we're at 50, so we're profitable, but... I would like to make that full 150, you know? So we're going to hit there and hope for the best. Basically just hoping he doesn't raise any large, uncontrollable armies. How can I really understand who lacked? Alright, so I'm going to teach unyielding to one of my generals. It's good. More generals like me who can stand against us. To be fair, I'm not that good of a general. All right, and then our last target, uh, how are we on that loot? We're doing pretty good, but I think it's... Wait, what about here? Right, yeah, so we can just move over here, and then... Yeah, we'll loot them real quick, and then we'll probably be done. Because I can't think of... Oh, right, there's that island. And who the hell are you? I'm slightly confused. Someone got usurped, but... I'm just not sure what's going on right now. Could we sack or could we loot Ormond? Yeah, but there's nothing there. All right, what about right here? No, that is definitely not conquest worthy. And then up here has also been looted. So I think we'll just go home and call it a raid. I think that was a successful enough of a raid. 82 gold, not bad. Excellent, excellent. Alright, drop the units. And let our forces recuperate for a little while. Yeah, because now we're down to 900, but my little gains in Marshall over that course have inspired additional... Uh, what do you call it? Basically, our reinforcement rates are going to... Or not reinforcement. Oh, we lost our advisor. So unfortunate. Right, yeah, so gonna wait on the levies to reinforce. We gain a percentage back every month. Uh, titles. Right, yeah. So on succession, because we have a second son. Actually, yeah, I should be dismissing my concubines now. So you're set aside, you're set aside, and you're set aside. 
So basically what I have to do right before I think I'm about to die is I'm going to have to give my primary heir all of my titles, basically, so that I don't lose anything. All right, so our military and our culture... Wow, why are we not gaining any economy? Uh, leadership... Oh, my stewardship. <laughs> it's two. Yeah, okay, that's why. Right, so military advances. Our army is primarily light infantry, so that's what we're going to spend this on. So this will increase their effectiveness by 7.5%. And then for cultural advances, uh, tolerance probably wouldn't be a bad idea, because we definitely have the different religion and culture thing going on, and as we conquer the world, it's just going to get worse. Like, there's no way around it. Yeah, I think we will pick up Tolerance. We are Tolerant Vikings. Alright, what else can we do? <laughs> I could go claim Mercia. But I don't think I have the means for that. I need to take chunks out of Northumberland before I do anything like that. Alright, how's the army looking? Well, our possible army keeps growing, so... Uh, go back to training troops in Desmond. It wouldn't hurt to boost... Yeah, we're going to get an extra 200 from that. So yeah, just boosting our... Okay. Also, was introduced to the top I had. Yeah, I found the concert. Uh, some friends. Um... All right, so I made a friend. Who knows? That might turn into more. Might not. This is the way of such games. Again, I'm wanting to get across here soon. What kind of army are we looking at? Oh, decent garrisons for sure. Not too much on the lower end. I could go up to medium tribal organization. Again, people aren't going to like me as much for that, but... All right, uh, the the council's voting right now. Oops, I don't do. Excellent, more friends. So I feel like these two will probably vote in my favor. Yeah, it's tiebreaker vote. Come on. Ooh, he's. Oh, no, he's gregarious, not ambitious, all right. Still, a little gift wouldn't hurt. And a gift. Rejected? Oh. Then I can't try and change it for ten years. Ugh. That is obnoxious. Come on, Council. I thought you were on with me on this. They tell my cat. Cat left to visit one of my distant. Oh. Oh, my cat died. I'm too trusting. Man, I have no intrigue. How are the kids coming? Right, you need a focus. I need you to become a diplomat. Who else? You are... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought we weren't. I will become kind. All right, you are Aelin. I want you to become a heritage-based. Does anyone have a focus? Money, heritage, etiquette, etiquette. Okay. We're good, we're good. How old am I? Oh god, I'm only 27. King Mu could be li uh, ruling for quite a while. And we are getting close to the war chest, which is excellent. And our army's almost full. How much are we making? Three a month. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Pondering over the guest list. Okay, one of my friends. Of course you should invite a friend. Always invite. A friend. Uh, 
right? Just waiting on that money, money, money. And we will go invade here, and then we'll take them. Basically, we're going to carve out a small kingdom in this area. Then I could probably challenge Mercia effectively. So normally you kind of invade Scotland and work your way down, but in this case I'm going to invade Wales and go into England proper. So like that's Wessex, so that's not Mercia. So basically our next plan is to begin conquering mainland Europe. Right, you have no defensive pacts, so I'll be seizing your land quite shortly. Sucks to be you. Nothing personal. Well, you even got economic innovations. But I literally the only thing protecting them is my need for loot or for gold, which actually I might go try and raid it out of them, out of people. Because, like, look, there's 22 there. All I need is 70. Yeah, I think I can do it. Assemble the fleet. And then of my personal levy, raise all of that, and then put back the Dublin army. Then that, because you can't, every ship holds 100 troops. I have 15 ships, so I need to have 1,400 something troops. 1,352 is fine by me. And the peace too long is not an issue, because we're going raiding right now. Like, there you can see a host's fleet. Like, they're very powerful. They have 15,000 potential. So we're going here to raid this place. And hoping for the best. So be calm, my anxious warriors. Lori is upon us. Ah, oh, crap, I'm sick again. I have a fever. Not good. I don't want to die early. I'm raiding. I'm not at war yet. I wouldn't mind if I died, well, I would mind if I died mid-war, but I just got good. Ooh. What did I get? What did I get? I got the Great Pox. It doesn't tell me which illness level I have. Oh god, I've got syphilis. I need a court physician! I need to appoint. Court physician. Congratulations, you're promoted. All right. Uh, my cousin. Yeah, he would definitely be a good regent. Did we get all the loot? Not yet. And we could come over here for another 15. That might not be so bad. Got to get in this. Got to get the ship over there to loot it. Crush the army. I'm starting to think my courtier might fancy me. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? It is good to be the king. Now, hopefully there aren't any kids from that. Oh, someone Ulster just inherited. All right. It's fine. Okay, we finished looting there. How much gold have we made? There's 40, so we'd almost have enough. Let's see. We're not going to... Ooh, jackpot. Always look for these little uh, dock icons. That indicates to you which side you need to be on for looting. Oh my, that is a very large force we are trying to get out now. Oh, crap. Ooh, that was bad. So, yeah, they beat us because they had the extra help. Right, so that's not happening. Um, what if I just went and hit a French province? I mean, I could go just kind of see what would happen real quick. And no sign of immediate attack. And time to go. Alright, that's enough. Let's go back home. Oh, 
All right, and we did it. That's the war chest. Perfect. Expand the troops so that they don't accidentally trigger anything. And then I need, as soon as that, yes, the ambition has succeeded. Now what do I need to work on? Uh, see their own prosper or groom an heir? Well, I guess we have no choice but to groom an heir right now. All right, and then last thing I might possibly do is King Mu is declare war. And yeah, we are going to conquer them. And the war is declared, and now I can safely end the episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. I enjoy playing this series very much. That's why I think I'm on episode, like, 13 right now of recording, and only four episodes are out live. Like, this is fun. Like, I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having as much fun watching as I am playing. I look forward to you guys watching next time. Farewell.